all nine of his points. I want to remind everyone, Colin Manning coming up right after this one, North Carolina A&T and South Carolina State. We'll head to that one at the conclusion of a good one here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. As we come upon the three-minute mark, another three attempt. Richmond will connect on that one. But a nice rebound by Jones. Interesting story. Uh, Brother that's a point guard, and he's a point guard. And he makes his point there by making the free throw. We've got ourselves a one-point game just inside three minutes to go. Arkansas Pine Bluff had a lead as big as 12 here in the second half, and it has dwindled away. We may have learned about a new motivational tool about coaching teams here in this second half, the way the Prairie View is played. Well, this would be some comeback if they could get a win here on the road. Well, this is a team that lost on Saturday at Mississippi Valley. It was a close game. Richmond off the back of the rim. Nice hustle as Johnson runs it down. And now Jones for three knocks it down. Jones. Calvin inbounds. Very good the and in. Very good and in. going to pick up a trap. Oh, they got the ball. Yes, they do. Jones comes up with it. Can't get it to go. McDaniel can't get the follow. Oh, what a missed opportunity they had. But they're right back again. And we got a timeout. Yeah, the men trailed by nine points. You can see we had 6.32 left to play. Brooks front court. Oh, good maneuver. Tough shot. Oh, look at the block. Oh, that way. He had oh, a ball, Doug. I don't think he made any contact at all, but nonetheless. Brooks looking for his 10 point and has it. And we're tied at 60. Two minutes to go. Good press here. Johnson in trouble, and we've got a foul. 62% from the strike. And that one gets the bounce. Arkansas Pavlov is going to come back on offense. TJ's on the bench. Johnson misses. And up high for the rebound is Tavares Washington. Well, Christopher Jones really shadowing Brooks out front. And now Weathers, Swack Newcomer of the Week. Open jumper, Townsend doesn't get the bounce and Shivers gets the rebound. They've got numbers. Three on one. Oh, another hard foul. I tell you, when you go in for a layup in this game, you take your life into your hands. 13 lead changes, looking for his 12th point of the night. And Pine Bluff comes up with the rebound as Townsend. And now into the front court, Calvin. Minute 15 remaining. Oh, good help. Calvin almost traveled. Yeah, good help by Derrick Johnson that time when Calvin was trying to dribble in the lane. Brooks spots the three. Knocks it down. That's big. A big shot from Brooks, the freshman. And now Shivers dealing on Weathers. And he traveled. Inbound as McDaniel right there on the end line. And just soft pressure. Now they back off. Calvin's going to handle. He's got a good defensive guy on him and Derrick Johnson. Pine Bluff up by one. Oh, Calvin made a nice move to get by him. Tough shot, and he's fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line. And now Calvin trying to extend this one-point lead and does not on the first attempt. 3% on the season, and this is a big one right here. And he does make that one to make it a two-point lead. Hang on, folks. Final 30 seconds of regulation. Jones. Go for the win. Banging inside is McDaniel offensive foul. And so we got some foul trouble issues if this thing were to go to overtime. And they're trying to foul him. And finally, it is Townsend who gets fouled this game. And Townsend can't make the free throw. So McDaniel will watch the remainder from the bench. And it's going to take a three right take now. A three to tie. With 22 seconds remaining. Just be careful and not foul the jump shooter if he's taking the three. Jones into the front court. And a foul.
foul. Not a bad idea. Buff, 65-62. Johnson tonight. And you look at the score and you wonder. They got it back. They got yes, it back. Do Jones rattles in and out. Rebound comes down with it as Washington, and it looks as though he is fouled. They call it a tie ball. Yeah, so the ball that it's going to go possession is going to be Prairie Views. Percentage at 41 percent. So five seconds remaining, and we'll see the strategy. And it's Richmond, and he is fouled immediately. He stepped on the line. I think he stepped on the line. Watch his watch his foot here. He did. That right foot slid out of bounds. Just throw it to the other end. Somebody's got to touch it to start the clock. And it's hustle time for Brooks as he tries to avoid the defenders. Perfect from the line. Looks for his 14th point. And Larry, this one's pretty much in the books. At the The big win. That it is. 67 to 62. A huge win for Arkansas Pine Bluff as they get their fifth win in swag play. Our final score, 67-62.